In this video, I'll show you how you can add and control multiple colors in Blender using a very simple node setup. As always, it is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so press X to delete, then press Shift A and let's add a monkey. And then we can press Ctrl 4 for four subdivisions. And then let's add smooth shading as well. And then let's add a background image. You can get a bunch of free background images in the description. So that we get some nice lighting for the colors that we add later. And then we can make the background transparent. And then we can enable screen space reflections and refraction as well to make the colors look even better. And then let's go and turn this into a sun. Set the strength to 5. And then you can press R twice to rotate the sun freely. Okay, so now that we have some basic lighting, we can save the file and start adding the actual colors. So I'm just going to call it Toots, and then we can drag the top right corner of this window to add a new window. And then let's go into the shader editor and then add a new material. I also like to decrease the roughness to make the colors look even better on this uh, shader. And then in order to control the colors that we're going to add, we need to add two nodes first. So uh, press Shift A and then search for texture coordinates and then mapping. And then you connect generated and vector to base color. Like this. And then to get the actual colors, we need to search for the color ramp. And here you can choose the colors that we're going to use. And you can also choose what kind of transition you want between the colors. This is the constant type, where it goes straight from one color to another. Okay, and then you can also choose on what axis you want the colors to be separated on. So this is for the x-axis, for example. And then you can use the y-axis and the z-axis. You can also use the mapping node to control the colors without aligning them on a specific axis. And we can also add an empty to control the colors. So we'll press Shift A in the viewport. And then let's add a cube empty. And then we need to enable the overlay so that we can see the empty. And then select the empty in the texture coordinate node and then connect object to the vector so that it affects the setup. And when you press G to grab, you can see that we now control the colors. And we can do the same for the set axis too. And when we grab it, you can see that we can now control the colors once again. And then you can press I to keyframe, for example, to animate the transition. If you want to get even more technical with this, I also have a tutorial on my channel on how you can transition between PBR textures using this node method. And then you can of course animate the use of this empty to animate the material. So let's uh, type in hashtag frame divided by 30 for example to make it a bit slower. As you can see, we now have an infinite animation with this material. 